Well, we're moving along on this part of the sawmill building. Uh, these are some of the pictures from the first video, but just, if you haven't seen it, just to remind you kind of where we started. Uh, did a little metal frame building. Uh, thought I would get by cheap. It's all right, but it turned into a monster. Uh, we're just moving along here kind of slow. Uh, started doing some, putting some purlins some rafters ready to start putting a roof on. Uh, just some more of the same stuff. Just a progression. Well, we're putting the roof on it today. Kind of coming together. I decided to do a little sawing before we get through with this thing. So here's a couple of shots of me fooling with an old oak camp that I already had. <laughs> Well, I'm fooling with this old log. It was a cant that I had sawed years, 10 years ago. Uh, I was gonna use it for another project, but I decided not to. And of course, it was an eight by eight by 15 feet long. I had two of them. This one was fairly straight. The other one looked like a rocking chair rocker and I just needed some oak for flooring in a trailer. So decided to just trim it up, straighten it up, and let's see what we could make out of it. I'm trying to saw an old 10 year old eight by eight uh, camp that I had sawed years ago before I had a sawmill and it looked like a rocking chair rocker. I'm gonna make some boards for an old flat and it's oak, it's hard as a brick. I put a carbide blade on the wood miser and I'm just trying to roll this thing around and see how big a board I can get out of it. It took a lot of measuring and playing and rolling it around just trying to figure out what we could do to get the best board we could get out of it. Wasn't that fun? I got enough boards to do. I got a flat on my old dozer trailer that needed some oak boards on. We're gonna try to repair with these. I had this stuff, like I say, 10 years. Got a pile of logs out here. The, we're ready to saw just any time. <laughs> We're in the process of building my sawmill building along with, and there is the infamous log splitter. We're gonna do a video on that one one day, show you how it works. I've got a video of the splitting logs. 
we built that thing quite a few years ago, Juan and I did, and took the old Toyota truck. It was wrecked, but it had 100,000 miles or so on it, and I wanted to use the motor for something, so that's what we did. Built this thing. It weighs 6,500 pounds. Uh, <laughs> we had to block block the frame up on the off the springs and beef the frame up. It works beautiful. Uh, but we're gonna. I got it stuck in my new building right now. Like you say, we're in the process of. is my brand new Hughes equipment truck bed. Wow, that's another video. I love this thing. Thank you, Brian, from Brian's Brian's videos. That's where I found the link and, the, and, the, and it hooked up with these folks. He's got that same bed. He loved it and I, I really like it. But anyway, there's what we're doing, putting this thing together. Got the tin going on the sides over there, the tin on this side. We've got our door track header in going right here. Uh, we're going to cut these lower things out. And that's where we're going to put our logs in, right there. But we're just kind of in the process of, of putting it all together. It's just a slow, we just do a little bit at a time. Gonna put it. This is the north end. Here we're gonna put a door on this end. Uh, just, I'm not gonna put a door on the other end, but I am going to on this end. Like I say, there's some of our log pile, some Osage orange that you can see there. We just cut those last week, and you see how the log, the wood is yellow, and it saws and makes some beautiful lumber. Look at this big gnarly stump. Uh, We'll chainsaw it and wad it around to see if we can get it on the sawmill. And that ought to make some wild looking stuff. Just stuff we like to play with. There's a crotch cherry log. These two logs here are ash. They're gonna go to firewood. They just got stuck here. And I use anchor seal. And when I bought this five gallon bucket anchor seal, all I had was red. Don't do that. It works just fine. But I mean, it gets all over you. It sprinkles on your face. It gets on your clothes. It gets on your truck. So anyway, either clear or white or whatever, but anchor seal, that's what everybody told me I needed to do. So that's what we did. I still got a little bit of it left. Here's what we're gonna, we sawed this lumber. We got this to fix. Some boards are still good, some are rotten. I'm gonna fix it for now, this time. And hopefully, now that I got my own sawmill, hopefully the next time we're gonna do, get a little bit better lumber because this didn't last four or five years. It's already rotted out. There's a big walnut log over there that we saw last week. Actually, three walnut logs, but anyway. That being said, this is where we're going. This is building my sawmill barn. Right here beside the equipment shed. Yep, Dad's old 2520. That's kind of, right there's what I make my living with, Bobcat and Dozer. Water wagon for when we build roads. Tree spade for sale. Anybody wants a tree spade? 48 inch, it's a good tree spade, works good. Just junk sitting around everywhere. There's my log arch from a log arch trailer, which is right here. 
we've done a little bit of a video on it. I'm gonna do an actual walk around video of it one of these days. But we did, we kept the log arts trailer. I bought it as an old skid steer trailer. We kept it so I could still use it to haul equipment on. And I love that truck bed. Did I mention that before? I think I did. I love that truck bed. But anyway, that's another video for another time. Juan's putting the finishing touches on. We just put our log door in. And they got this end of the barn covered. Well, here it was one day and the next day, this is where we got to. So, still getting close. Well, they're getting there. So we like putting the metal and the door track up on this end. We got our ready for the, I'm gonna put a roll up door on this end of the thing. Of course, we got a hell of a mess to clean up. But I kind of buttoned it all up, man. It looks, looks all together different. It looks good as far as I'm concerned. I had a door. I just stuck a door in it just in case I wanted to come out of it. Or on this side. This is the south end. Right now, I'm not going to put a door up. I'll eventually have to, I feel like. There's kind of a walk around. We're having 40, 50 mile an hour wind today. They just got this far on it and we're running out of, running out of stuff. So anyway, we're getting there. We're gonna have some 20 foot opener, 196 opening right there. Those little sliding doors going back each side. This has turned into a whole lot more. Than I, than I ever anticipated. Thought we'd stick up a little quick building. Here is a picture of what I had anticipated I was going to build. I took this picture back in the summer and I thought, ah, that's what I'll build for my sawmill. But. Oh. I get started on, I guess we're a lot of people that way. You get started on something and I want it to be right. So here we are. About twice as much money as I thought I'd have in it. But all we like is really the metal on this side and the doors. I appreciate you watching. Uh, let us know if you like or you don't like. There's comments, that's fine. Please subscribe and God bless America. Thank you.